Alright, so a while back I decided to send out a few single issues to get bound. I've been reading a lot about it lately and watching videos and it just seemed really cool to do. I did take some time to decide kind of what to send out. Uh, I wanted something to be that I had a complete run of, something that I would enjoy having on a bookshelf. And I didn't mind actually mutilating the single issues since I did remove the ads just to kind of make the volumes a little more thinner. Uh, now, considering that the, who the main character is, maybe that was a mistake, because maybe some of these issues will actually start going up in price, but, you know, whatever. I did send these out to the Hessian Bindery, so I'm excited that they finally came back. And they do have a minimum of what you can send, so I did have send enough issues to do a two-volume set. So, let's see how that turned out. So we've got Warlock and the Infinity Watch, Volume 1, and Warlock and the Infinity Watch, Volume 2. Let's see how these turned out. Volume 2 is a little bit thicker. Binding looks really nice. I've got these nice colored bookmark tags to go with it. Kind of correspond with two of the Infinity Gems. And then for Volume 1, I did create my own table of contents. So Volume 1 does include... We're looking to watch starting at issue 1, all the way to issue 22, and then I also included Warlock Chronicles. Since I had all those that complete run too, I wanted to find some home for that as well. Volume 2, since this is a little bit thicker, I did include the entire crossover of the Blood and Thunder. So here's a table of contents that I created with that. It is a little bit harder to see with the binding. So this is my first attempt with even the table of contents and sending out the issue, so... And that actually turned out pretty nice. So with the Blood and Thunder, it also included the issues with Thor, Silver Surfer, to complete that 12-part story arc. And the back of the Volume 2 table of contents was the 9-card set from one of the Marvel Universe series. All in all, so far these look pretty nice. Uh, binding on the wolf first issue is a little bit tight there. There's my order form. I did include all the covers. I tried to remove as many ads as I could. It definitely flips pretty good. I am impressed. So a nice crossover with Warlock and the Infinity Watch, Silver Surfer and Thor, with the Blood and Thunder. And yeah, some of these issues had the nice hard cardstock front and back covers. That seemed to do alright when they got it bound together. So there we have it, my first two custom bound comic issues, very cool.